I'm Pragya and I bring to you excerpts from the latest issue of Outlook. One nation, one election, one nation, many people. The issue brings to you diverse debate and points of view on the idea of one nation and one election. Childhood Disrupted by Prasoon Goswami. He is a campaigner for disarmed school and safe childhoods. In conflict-ridden Manipur, children are witnesses to extensive violence which can lead to severe post-traumatic stress disorder. The ongoing armed conflict in Manipur has displaced more than 70,000 people. As per government data, more than 14,545 displaced students in five districts worst affected by the ethnic clashes are Imphal West, Imphal East, Bishnupur, Chura Chandpur, and Kangpokpi. They have been sheltered in relief camps. More than 3,000 of them are below five years of age. News reports say that schools in the hill districts of Manipur have been closed for more than three months now. Children living in the relief camps have been forced out of school. Around 100 schools across the state have been turned into relief camps. As per the state government's submission to the Supreme Court, schools have not been able to function in the three hill districts of Chura Chandpur, Kankpokpi and Tegnupal. Many schools across the valley have been vandalized. Imphal's St. Peter School and Children's Treasure High School of Torbung Village were burnt down by an armed mob. It has been reported that many children are being used as child soldiers. Several teenagers have been undergoing arms training after being forced out of school. News agencies say that there is a dire food shortage in Thonju Kendra Relief Camp in Imphal and Saikot Relief Camp in Chura Chandapur. Medicines are also in short supply for the children living there. Lactating mothers in relief camps lack proper nutrition owing to which they are unable to provide the requisite nourishment to their infants. For these and more, read the current issue of Outlook.